Yo, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at Reddit and see what's going on over here. It's been about a week since we last checked up on everybody. And uh, I'm really excited because I know a lot of people have been getting creative with the Dream Snaps. And I know there's been some hints at some new characters coming up. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. All right, 511 upvotes we have. When you spend an hour in Touch of Magic, then remember they can't be used in the Dream Snaps. At least I have a cute set of matching beach chairs. Those are actually super adorable. Um, so is this like fully made with the Dreams? I guess it would have to be made with the Touch of Magic because uh, they just give you some standard white chairs, right? I didn't even think that they had the whole beach ones. Um, I knew we had like the carpet and... Uh, furniture like the couch and stuff, but I didn't know we had these chairs. So that's actually really cute It may be possible to submit them because when we were doing some voting on the live streams We've seen people with some touch of magic before so you might be able to sneak those by I don't know maybe if they're in the background or so, but that's really cool It's really uh, exciting that people are able to make these custom things because I could totally see them selling this as a set in the premium shop So definitely great job to that Ooh, and we have an elegant castle grounds. That's so cool. Is this in the meadow? Yeah, I think it's overlooking the beach. That is so cool. Um, I hope they took a picture of this with their character during the whole like castle themed um, outfit challenge, the ball theme that we had this past week, because this is really nice. It's like a nice little courtyard. They have the premium shop house and then they lined up the trees right here. And uh, where is this? Because there's like rocks right here. Oh, this is the entire. Okay, so yeah, it's really cool how they've done this because it took me a minute to try and figure out where exactly they are in the valley. So that looks amazing. What is going on here? This was a rather ham fisted attempt at taking a photo. What is Pua? Why is her hand in there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this part of the new emotes? Is this, uh, is this part of the new update? <laughs> that is hilarious. A new feature coming up, guys. Update six. You heard it here first. Oh, here's something interesting. Let's play a game. You have been trapped in the forgotten and find a key. After wandering around for a while, you find a lot of characters who have been held captive. You find that the key only works for three locks. Who are you freeing? You might come back later. All right, let's see here. Um, oh, wow, we have all of the the seven dwarves right here. So do they count as like just one person or do I only get a free three of them? We got Lilo and Stitch. We got the Dalmatians, Pinocchio, Bambi, Tarzan. Oh, man, we got all of them. You know what? We have to go with Quasimodo first. Like that has to be. He's already spent most of his life locked up. We got to get him out of there. Like we can't we can't keep doing this to my man here. And two, um, we, we're going to need some power, you know, we need some brute force. So we're going to go with Maleficent's dragon form right here. Okay, we're freeing those two. And then uh, Genie, and we're going to make a wish with Genie to free all of the rest of the characters. So boom, done. Problem solved. That was actually really, really simple. Aladdin would be good too if you could take carpet with you so you could uh, fly out of there. And um, yeah, I think that's who I would pick, definitely. Let me know in the comment section the three characters you would choose to free. And uh, why is Jafar in here? I'm not freeing that man. <laughs> he's probably, he's the one who locked us in here. Oh, here we go. This is another um, custom like uh, feature made by JPJ Mertens. They are the ones who created the whole like Star Wars theme stuff that we've seen before. So this is just a fan concept of remaking the um, I guess all the tabs and everything, the UI of the game. So you have general statistics right here. We got recipes unlocked, daily requests, meals prepared. Oh, this is much better. Yeah, this is also for like some milestones and stuff. We got our furniture and all that. We have our characters profile there. Oh, this is really impressive. So you'd have your username here, like whenever multiplayer shows up. Uh, Dreamweaver, so if you could earn titles within the game, that'd be really cool. You got your money, your moonstone balance here. Uh, is this just like an ID? We have how many hours you've spent doing these uh, things, building, cooking and stuff, time played, how many quests you've done, who you hang out with the most, what item you've crafted the most, 
Um, you have all this stuff down here. How many star path uh, items you have remaining until you finish them? Oh, and even a dream snaps the whole level. How many votes you've received and how many votes you've made? Wow, this is impressive. This is definitely something they should add, especially if you could earn like little titles and profile pictures and stuff. This is so, so good. How is it one person can design this stuff and come up with this stuff, but an entire multi-million dollar company gives us the bare minimum of features? It's absolutely mind-blowing that this is what goes on. Yeah, that's that's so impressive. Like, I love all these statistics and stuff. Something I was wondering is if they would add this, if they would allow us to see how many votes we got on our previous week. Obviously, we don't want to know how many, like, votes we didn't get. But uh, if they showed how many votes we got on, like, a certain week, and then maybe next week we got more votes or less, we could kind of see what we need to do to improve on. And then having an overall score would be really, really nice on that. That's a, This is great. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely impressive. And then their socials is down here. We have a motionless animator over here on Instagram and Twitter. So uh, good job on that. Oh, my gosh. We actually have a skull rock build. Look how amazing this is. Someone fully decked out and decorated the entire island. And I love that they put Eric's boat right here. Wow, this is impressive. They nailed the shot even with the like sundown. Oh, this is really, really good. This in itself could be like a winner for Dream Snaps for sure. This is very impressive. Man, I, it, it, it's crazy how you can have just a blank canvas and then people can come up with stuff as impressive as this. So this was from Ellie Serene. And uh, there's their socials right here if you guys want to check out more of their work but very very impressive oh my gosh i love that that's absolutely amazing and then are there any more characters outside of beast and eve who are basically confirmed to come to the valley through memories now we actually know they're coming because we also have on imbd their voice actors or actresses updated and then this looks like one of the uh, photos within the game on the collections tab. So we have Beast right here. We've seen them in the trailer. And uh, we know Eve is coming because they pretty much announced her within the paid Wally quest line that we got. I'm not sure when uh, Eve's going to show up. So I do think September is going to be an absolutely massive update with the whole like Jafar stuff, possible new biomes. I think we're getting a new realm with um, Beauty and the Beast. So it's going to have like Belle. It's going to have Beast. I even think Gaston is probably coming to the game. And I do believe that a premium item might be coming to the shop. Maybe of Gaston's like um, house or cabin. Or maybe it's Bells. We've seen it in the trailer of the game. But I do think Beast and Bells coming to the game. And Eve at some point. I'm not sure when. But uh, we do know that they're pretty much confirmed. So if you guys are interested in both of these, then, well, you have some good news there for you because they are most definitely going to arrive by the end of the year. Oh my, it's actually happened. I've been wondering how some of these dream snaps are getting submitted seemingly without meeting the qualifications. But this is next level. Hard to say, but I think the one on the right is just really so full of imagination and creativity. What do you think? And it's literally their house, like just the corner of the room. I have seen a couple of these. When we were streaming the voting, we saw Shea Remy's house like two or three times. And we saw a picture of the ocean. And I don't know how it's submitting this. Is there a certain platform that's allowing it to be submitted? Because I have a lot of people that say that it doesn't let them if they don't meet the requirements. But we're also finding a lot of stuff where they definitely don't meet the requirements, but they're able to submit them. So I'm not sure what's going on with this. I scrolled down one more and another person found the exact same photo right here. Look at this. This is hilarious. It's, it's the same thing and it's popping up. That's that's crazy. And then last but not least, we have a crazy, amazing and very creative build here by Kinky Trees. And they said, my ship has crash landed here by mistake. And there's like a cult going on with the little aliens and they have a sacrifice. And it's like the little... It's the little like stuffed animal. I think that's from Monsters Inc. And then we have a Buzz over here. And I don't know if he's like the ruler or if he's held captive here too. But this is hilarious. And uh, here's their character. And then we have like Buzz's spaceship on the right side. So this is very creative and clever. And uh, I'm all for it. That's, that's impressive. 
I said that was the last one, but I have to show this one because this one's crazy impressive. Again, by Kirchi. Oh my gosh. I made a Willy Wonka candy forest to welcome Vanellope to my valley. Oh my chocolate river. This is so good. How did they make the bridge? What is that? Is that like a... Is that just like a... I don't even know what that is, but I love how they have the cakes that are using this to look like an actual border for the bridge. And then it leads to the candy house. And then they use the rugs to make a chocolate river. And they put like the little bubbles. That is so impressive. And then we have a Wonka themselves right here sitting on the chair in front of a full candy spread. I love this. That's so great. And that's it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.